here I am, just hanging out in the hallway. No, seriously, every time that I try to come and record one of these videos, it's like it's just not meant to be. There is always constant noise going on in this building and that is another reason why I want to get rid of everything that I own and run away to a cabin in the woods eventually after our travel expedition. Now, what I want to say first of all in this video is I did a recent home tour, but as I was doing the home tour, I always start thinking things and it seems that when we do this act of physically showing people around our home, it then makes us start to think, well actually, do I really need that? And the biggest change has been in the bedroom. So even after the last home tour, I really started to think, well, do I need that? So let me show you what I mean. Let's go. There's been some quite big changes. If we go first into the bedroom, I will show you the major changes that have happened. So after the last home tour, I had my desk there. And the more I stared at the desk, the more I realised it was unnecessary because I had the other desk in the living room, which we also use as a dining table, which I'll discuss shortly. But what I actually like about these shelves that are my mum's are they're just the right height for if I wanted to actually do like a standing desk situation, which, you know, is not a really a bad thing for me. And then I realised that I had so few items on the rail that actually all my items could fit in that one tub and my partner's stuff is in there and he also has the drawers under the bed. So what I actually decided was I'd take advantage of this new situation of, you know, we were on the ground on a mattress and my partner decided he wanted a bed, but that meant, you know, we had two drawers for my partner to put his clothing in. And then because I had so few clothing on my rail, I thought, actually, I don't need this rail anymore. And although there are some things that I like for aesthetic reasons, I'm getting to the point where I really like to question how practical it is and whether I really need it. Albeit, you know, I do want my home to still look nice, but I don't want things that are really unnecessary. And I'd like for just this short amount of time that I live here, that, you know, before we go traveling, I'd like it to be as minimal as possible so I can experience that for a little bit of time while we're here. So, all my clothes in there. And then this corner is the corner that's changing because obviously we can't get rid of things overnight if we want to do it, you know, sustainably and responsibly. So these are a few of the last baskets that we had in and around the house. They're going. I've also decided to get rid of pillowcases that we had that were sort of being used as protectors under the other pillowcases. All the stuff from the bathroom has changed. And the, I've decided the desk is going, the rail is going. It's just not necessary. And I would rather have all this space to look into as we come in the room. So then there's like, it'll just be that. And what I like about this is that this can be a charging station. And that could just be a shelf where, you know, you put your clothes that you're going to rewear the next day folded up neatly because, you know, we don't have one of those chairs in this room, you know, those chairs that everybody seems to have that they pile all the clothes on top of. But I thought that made for a nice little bit of space without it being too much. And if we're just having that instead of all that, then there'll be this lovely corner to walk into. Another thing is I'm even contemplating getting rid of the rug, although really we have the rugs just to break up this carpet because with it being one flat colour, this carpet... Although I like the simplicity of it, it really shows up any bits. And if I had one wish for a future home that is my own and not rented, it will be that we will have all wooden floors. I just think they're so much more practical to be able to sweep and not constantly hoover. And I really resent having to have a hoover, to be honest, and even hoovering. So if we move around the room now, I've changed this area quite a little bit. Obviously, as I've just mentioned, I liked being on the floor before, but when you live with somebody else, it is about compromise. And the one bonus that has come out of it is because my partner wanted these drawers, he's got his clothes in there, which means we don't have the rail at the end of the hallway anymore, which I'll show you shortly. And I realised I don't need this rail either, because as a result of having to look for somewhere else to put things, we got these tubs that were previously down here, but now I've decided to put them there. 
so that will all be gone shortly and no doubt I will show you another home tour at the point that I do that. I've also changed these shelf situations around a little bit and we have our lamp over here now and I have my little amethyst candle there and I just keep my airpods at the side and earplugs because it is seagull season no doubt you'll hear some throughout this video and I was keeping one box on top of there just an empty shoe box that I sometimes do to reuse packaging but I've recently sent that to my mum who's living in Greece so I haven't got anything up there anymore so it's all looking very spacious and minimal in here now I hear some of you ask but what about coats and things and we're keeping some of our coats and scarves just behind that door I'm going through an era of not really wanting to look at things so the few items that we have I want them to be you know not really that visible because <laughs> Looking at the stuff, I think, is slowly driving me to insanity. So even the few things that we have, we don't really want them to be too obvious. And there's little Sisyphus down there holding the door open for us. So this is now our hallway situation. And my partner keeps a few of his, of his hooks over there. And we have mirrors, really for light. Some people may think they're completely unnecessary, but because our home has such limited light all the mirrors you see are really not for decor they are for lighting and then we have this one little postal shelf here that's my partner's his books have had to come back here and so have the pens because of what we've done with the shelf that was previously in the living room as you're about to see we will come back to the bathroom last of all because you probably all know that that is <laughs> a tricky situation in there. And we always have these things holding the door open because the house is 200 years old, the doors close on their own, like watch this. It would scare me if I didn't actually realize it is the building that is leaning. And sometimes it actually opens itself. So that gets very, very annoying. As I can show you, I'm sure you all in, can imagine, so we do have them because they are necessary so now this area is a little bit of an eyesore for the moment because i've not had much time to change it since the last video but since we moved the shelves from there you can see i have a big square of beige missing from the previous wall so i need to patch that up because i couldn't get in there before and it was quite heavy to lift on my own but now all we have behind there is our hoover and our blankets on the little blob table with alexa so that's all that's happening behind there now and at least the little table being down there stops us sort of putting any other things behind there and moving on i am actually thinking of getting rid of the cushions but we'll see i do sort of sometimes like something to lean on although my partner's not particularly that bothered about it and we use this tatami cushion as a little multifunctional coffee table or extra seat by the way, guys, I have a new T-shirt. <laughs> I decluttered the green one because it was starting to get strange colours under the arms from all the natural deodorants. So, yes, I've actually got a new T-shirt. And we're now using our spare stool as a sort of charging stand and to hide the Wi-Fi. And this is now the only desk and table once I sell the other one because I realised I don't really need two and I can use the shelves as a standing desk if I want to go in the other room to work. And we've moved the Monstera in here for now, the other Monstera. It might not stay there. It might go back in the corner once the rail and the desk are sold in the bedroom. But for now, it is there. And in the kitchen... Oh, by the way, actually, before I go in there, I'm even thinking of getting rid of one of these green curtains taking the white ones out of there and just putting them at the sides for the slight overlap as I don't really think they're necessary in the kitchen let's turn the light on as it's a bit dark in there today so in our very old kitchen I will show you around I have thrifted a fruit bowl since the last one that I thought was a little bit more pleasing and I'll show you why in a minute because our other bowl has gone back to being for a different use and we have our fridge our bin 
My partner likes to sit here when he comes home from work. And we have some cleaning things on there. That's not staying there, but it is to clean all the carpets, the bane of my existence. And our utensils pot. And these are actually made from coconut and cellulose. Our kitchen sink always looks stained and that is because it's very old. <laughs> I need to replenish my vegetable hammock and we have our cellulose cloths. Not much has changed in the cupboard since the other day, but I realised, I think I didn't show you something at the top of this cupboard, so I will show you now. So yeah, in the last video I forgot to actually pan upwards, but I've changed a couple of things since the other day. So we have two of everything. Two small bowls, two larger bowls that I realised we needed for when we wanted things like fried eggs on toast. You know, being English, we like that. Our cups. And, you know, they can also be taken out of the house because they've got rubber lids to go on top of them. Then we have our wooden bowl. That's Pyrex, so it can go in the oven. And then we now have that as a use for decaf coffee and the little cafetiere. That was there last time, but I just forgot to pan upwards and did I show you in here last time I think I did that is our cutlery drawer two of everything and did I show you in here not immaculate guys but that is where we put all like the oversized condiment bottles and juice bottles or cereal jars that are just too big to go in there and I have these I think I mentioned before so we can pull it out and have a rummage rather than trying to do it right back there in the dark and we always keep our oven tray just in our oven so it doesn't take up any other space so i think that is everything in here and now we will go to the dark dark bathroom i thought i think i've also got rid of a couple of plants since the last tour shoe cabinet and that is the camera that I was doing the intro with. I've mentioned before, I like to use the iPhone to do the actual point of view shots because it is just much wider. So we have no light in here, but I've changed a few things in here since last time, guys. We're now just keeping our towels there so they can dry quickly. Our little laundry bin there. We don't have many, um, we don't have many bathroom products, but they're all in there including the hammam towels now and my partner has his little charging station we just have toothpaste mouthwash and for now I am just using a bar soap after the olive oil one is used up I'll probably go to using one that is like a shampoo body and hair soap that we can share although my partner does like to have shower gel which he's got on his little shelf in there we have a little moisturizer that we both share in under under counter cabinet as well under sink cabinet if eventually i like to experiment with what i like and sometimes i will go from a soap to using the dr bronner's that's multifunctional for everything but rather than having the pump bottles that were here before i might just get the generic dr bronner's pump bottle and either keep it there or keep it on the side of the bath now we're going to get dark as we go around here, but I'll do my best to lighten it. We're now using just these hooks to hang my partner's clothes up that he plans to reuse. He keeps his dressing gown here. I'm keeping my linen one behind the bedroom door. And we're using this to store all our toilet roll in, but also as a holder and various bathroom cleaning things. And we have a natural diffuser there oh and i nearly forgot to mention our little face cloths let's go back to the outro i don't know why guys but when i'm actually behind the camera and not in screen i find it harder to concentrate on what i'm saying and i can feel myself going mm, ah, but, mm, eh. It's strange that now I've got that sort of used to talking to you that when i'm not talking directly to you it's it's very very awkward and I think because you know you've got to sort of try and do it all in one take there's like more pressure to say everything absolutely correctly anyway this is a very impromptu video for a Sunday but I just find it amazing that 
I always think I've come to a place of rest and at ease with my home, but then when I actually show you all via a home tour, I, I almost hear myself thinking out loud when I'm talking to you all. Like in the last home tour, I panned to the desk or dining table in the living room and then I panned back to the desk in the bedroom. And as I was saying it all to you, thinking, I've got two desks, why do I need, why do I need two desks? It's a duplicate and I, I justified sort of using it when my partner was at home but I thought that's not a good enough reason and because we are so limited on space it feels like a waste of space as did the rail with sort of I think I had 10 things hanging up there so it felt like a real waste of space and I began to realize that just that one tub that we've got each for our clothes although my partner has the two drawers I just thought it's sort of it would fit it, it would fit in there and it'd just be a lot visually more pleasing to have less stuff and we'd have more space and even if one day you know when we have our cabin in the woods after our ventures around the world even if I then decide to have a couple more things I don't think I'm ever going to go back to having loads of things I would really have you know I'd really rather have the space so I think that is what's going to happen and I'm enjoying the, the simplicity of just having the bed and the shelf obviously when I'm envisaging that the rail and the desk has gone which we want to do in a sustainable way by selling it so that is the most I think this is the most minimalist home tour that I've done so far we've got rid of so many things and the only now I say this every time but the only thing I can really envisage changing is perhaps the cushions go in we have got rid of us two, two of us pillows i don't know if you noticed on the bed but the cushions on the sofa maybe the rugs although like i said the rugs do break up sort of the solid color of these carpets so yeah i don't know where else there is now room to change things and as i've mentioned before if i lived alone i would love to give furniture free living a go you know no table no sofa well we did do no bed with just a mattress on the floor but there's two people that live here so i think considering as well that there is two people that live here there is really not much stuff at all so you know props to my partner as well who is also very very minimalist but we all have our home comforts that we would like so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all for watching Bye.